Hello there everyone, I'm your German snob and I'm here with another episode of Let's Play Bioshock. Yep, so we have another guy to kill and make a photo of for Mr. Kevin. So that sure is going to be fun. And talking about things that are going to be fun, there's a spider splicer up there, but he won't be there for very much longer, or rather she won't be there for very much longer. So, you know, dead. Also... I'm pretty sure that there was for one that guy, yeah. But it wasn't him that I was referring to, because I was pretty sure that there was also a big daddy around here. But looks like I may be wrong about that. Hey, yeah, have some ice, baby. Ice, ice, baby and such. And you won't heal yourself, I'm sorry, boy -o. Uh, but there was that big daddy I was referring to. And while I don't want to attack him, I can at least take a photo of him. Uh, should be a pretty good one. Yep. So, how about his little sister? There she is. Should also be a pretty good one. Well, or not, you know. Good enough. Well, whatever. There is one other splicer that we have to take care of, and he should be somewhere down there. Where exactly, I couldn't say. But if I'm... Not wrong, he should be at a place called... Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it... Eve's Garden, here. Now, Eve's Garden, as you can probably see, is in fact a brothel. So, certainly a very nice place to be at a town like... in a town like this, right? What the hell? Flashback time? Sounds like Ryan had an affair with one of the women here. But that's pretty interesting, maybe, I guess. So let's get on the stage. And pick up the money here. You know. And we are going to get backstage, but first... Up, let's loot the registers. Empty. Four dollars, that's not much, but it's something. And on the other side there should be... Oh, hey, shotgun ammo. Nice. Vodka. Don't need. Uh, no safe down here? Really? Oh, I'm disappointed. But okay, I guess we can do without one. So be it as it may be, time to get backstage. Yeah, yeah, let's go here first. I'd never forget about... You? Looks like Ryan even killed the people close to him. If he suspected them to be... Uh, if he... Whoa. If he suspected them to work with Fontaine. Also, what was that flashback about? We are going to find out eventually. And corpse. Ah, fine chin. And a audio diary. Looks like Miss Charlene here used to be pregnant. Or was pregnant, rather. So, listen to it. That sounds bad. Whatever. What may be in that safe? Or rather, what could be in that safe? Ah, that one's hard to hack. Well, whatever. Cut! Ah, wasn't that bad. So, done. What's in there? Time to find out. Ah, some monies, a first aid kit and some anti-personal rounds. Really can't complain at all. And looks like we can't turn off the music. I mean, not that it's not nice music, it's in fact pretty nice music, but, nah, what can you say? And looks like there's our next victim. Where could he be? There he is. Burn! Stay here. No, really, stay here. 
Jesus. Why are you running away when I'm trying to shoot you? I mean, please, that kind of behavior is not logical. It is not scientific, you dig? Yeah, you stay here. You don't even think you're going to get away from me, boyo. Not even with your fancy smoke cloud stuff. Yeah, taste my anti-personal rounds, buddy. God, he takes quite some damage, doesn't he? I'm wasting my ammunition. Beautiful. Ah, that's so me. Like, you couldn't be more me if you tried to. Oh, will you please just... Nah. I hate that kind of enemy. I just hate it. It's so annoying and it just takes away from your time. I mean... Also, seeing how I'm pretty bad at aiming, that doesn't help either. Okay, it may have something to do with the fact that I didn't... Yeah, now you have to fight the security drones too. But was your fault for coming here, Boyo? Okay. Uh, at least he doesn't do a lot of damage. Even if we get hit by his... Molotov cocktails. And now he's almost done. <sighs> Finally. If you say so. Yup, time for a photo. I mean, it doesn't really matter because the texture is not going to load properly anyway once we place it in his masterpiece, but... Yeah, still going to take that photo. So now his work should be complete. And... Now that it is... Actually, no, wait a moment. Wait a moment, there should be a gatherer's garden around... Here somewhere. And I really want to buy new first aid kits. Uh, you will see why. And you... Well, you can go and screw yourself. Please. Well, I'm sorry for beating you. Also for the records, I wouldn't be able to say for sure. But aren't some of these splicers voiced by Terra Strong? I mean, I like to believe that I'm pretty good at recognizing that voice, seeing how you hear it all the time in uh, various media, but... Ah, sounds like it. No, 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 you are a... Yeah, you are a gatherer's garden, but I need a normal vending machine. Also, Big Daddy, I'm going to take a photo of you. Smile. Yep, pretty decent one. Ah, where are these vending machines? Here is one. Good. Very good. Let's buy as many as we can, which are exactly six, or rather five, because we already had one, right? At least I think I remember that we already had one. Well, whatever, time to complete Sandor Cohen's masterpiece. Now, where is it? Somewhere around here. Well, the arrow is pointing us in the right direction, right? Yep. So, let's put one here. <sighs> of course. Also, hey, that music. It's um, the flight of the bumblebee. But, but whatever. Cone is sending some splicers after us. I'm not very happy about that. But I'm also not too sad about it, seeing how... I can just use my telekinesis to kill them somehow. And this would be way easier if this thing wasn't burning and, you know, like, you know, you're dead, Spider Splicer. Ain't that a pretty nice thing for me? Yeah, not for you, but I don't care about you a whole lot. Burn. Burn, I say. 
Well, no, you won't burn right now because. Okay. But now you will. And look at that! Two with one strike! Nice! But of course, there's more of them. Of course. Well, at least they dropped quite a bit of Eve. Oh, I am smiling right now because I am massacring spider splicers by like the dozens. See? And they are even wearing like rabbit ear masks, so I can feel like Elmer Fat. I, I'm so happy about that. You wouldn't believe it. Ah, how many more of them are there? Not that many more. I hope. Also, these guys don't drop first aid kits. I find that kind of annoying. Well, in fact, the drop rates are not that high, period. But I, that's kind of to be expected, seeing how many of them there are. Also, these are not spider splices. Yes, these are spider splices, my mistake. But they don't really behave like spider splices, don't they? I mean... I, they're not crawling at walls and stuff. Also, I'm wasting my ammunition left and right. I hope that's worth it. But that went pretty well. Yeah. Whatever you say, you crazy asshole. So time to complete his work and then hopefully get the hell out of here. Well, poor... Actually, no, we are not yet getting the hell out of here, even if we have finished doing all this stuff, because, um, there is still quite some stuff to further explore in this place. So, let's finish his masterpiece. And let's see what happens now. It is well, looks like there's the man in himself. And you know what? That's a pretty good time not to stop recording for today, but to save. Now, there is not only one way to go about this. Well, as you see, there's Cohen. And he would just like a nice slicer give us his keys to further um, progress this place. But you know what? That wouldn't be fun. After he has, bossing, has been bossing us around. I think we owe it to ourselves to take our revenge. So, Mr. Cohen, you look really, really creepy, and I'm pretty sure that mustache is painted on. But anyway, smile. No, not. Whatever, Sander. Yeah, I expected this to happen because, of course, I will miss him. Never mind. So. Uh, wait a moment. So now, I think we kind of owe it to ourselves to take our revenge on Cone, as I said. Also, the sound is kind of screwed up, but never mind. Ah, uh, I forgot. He takes a lot of damage, doesn't he? Well, where is that fact? No, really, where is he? Um, Cohen, I can't see you. Yeah, basically the uh, end boss in this level is optional. So therefore we have to go about this differently. Also for the record, yeah, Cohen is a Houdini splicer. As you can see, so he teleports all over the place. And that's pretty terrible, I guess. Well, it makes him hard to hit. So we have reason to be afraid, especially because the game keeps lagging quite a lot. And if we can't see him, well that's too bad. Anti-personal rounds, very good. Well he doesn't really take that much damage, but just, well you know, quite a bit. Hey, where are you? There you are. 
and now you teleport where? Here. Okay. Stop running away. Come on, can't be that bad. Also, our security drone friend is going to take care of him now. At least I think so. And we're out of anti-personal rounds. Well, never mind. And I wish the game stopped lagging. I mean, really, it's not like a very... very modern game, but... I think in passages like this, I can't help but notice that the lag is pretty bad. Yeah. So, wait. Out of ammo. Certainly. Wonderful. But pretty soon he should be dead. And, yeah. Ah, come on, I can't see him. And I do realize that my commentary right now is not very exciting. But you know... You heal yourself? Ah. Frick. No, really, frick. Cut. But now we are done with him. Look at that. Yep. Well, Cohen's history now. But is there a way to access this stuff? You would really think there would be. But, ah yeah, here we can use his key. So let's see what's inside. Cohen's muse box. Money. Incendiary bolts and spider spicer organs, which are, as you know, first aid kits. And you know what? I think that with this, it would be a pretty good point to stop recording for today. So, you know. <laughs> that being said, I'm your German snob. This is Let's Play Bioshock. And, well, as always, have a wonderful evening. And see you tomorrow. Goodbye.